What's going on guys, it's Mr. DEBT Joe Lork from the Money Etiquette Group and here's some cryptocurrency news you should listen to today. Last week, around Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we talked about the market going on a small bull run, but well, it looks like that was sustained throughout the weekend, maybe one to 2% gains going into today. So we are seeing the market at least move into a positive direction, or at least when it comes to the price of Bitcoin, when it got over 8,000, it looks like that's sustaining, it's hidden towards 9,000. And if you look across the market, most coins or tokens have seen at least a one or 2% gain. Some have remained flat and of course some went down, but just looking at the majority, at least the top 100 based on market volume coins, most of those coins moved in a positive or bullish direction over the last five to seven days. Will this sustain over the next week? We'll see, but right now it's been pretty quiet in terms of new information and new news coming out about more regulation. So we'll see how the market continues to respond to that. Also some coin news, uh, Electronium actually is gonna be added to a uh, another exchange today. So all Electronium fans, I know people who really uh, quite recently started getting into that coin. It looks like it's being further, uh, it's, it's further expanding its reach into different markets and especially into the Japanese market, which is a great market for crypto. So we'll see if that uh, positively in, impacts the price or not, but just know that Electronium just moved into a new or another uh, Japanese exchange. Also, um, one coin to look out for if you haven't paid attention to capacity capacity is a company that produces 3d technology for different businesses you know for their websites for any media that they do they make sure that uh, you know you as the user or consumers can have a 3d experience on their platforms and they've been doing so for a while and they recently released a token i believe at the end of last year and now we're seeing that there's new news that they're um, getting more partnerships and partnering up with different luxury bank brands and companies out there. So as they continue to expand their relationships with real world businesses, it's another coin to look out for. I mean, this is a coin that maybe I think costs 12 cents. You can find it on Cryptopia. So I'm not saying go buy it, but it's just a good coin to keep your eye, eye out on. Because again, this year we're kind of making sure that we're focusing on coins that actually have real world usage and have real business partnerships. So pay attention to that. Uh, over the next 24 to 48 hours, we should, um, based on what we've been hearing, uh, the news that's been coming out, which has been more positive, expect to continue to see bull runs. We haven't seen a big jump in response to uh, light pay being released, but we will see maybe that might be a delayed reaction. Uh, of course, Litecoin is doing well. It's in the 160s on average right now. And last week, I mean, you could have got Litecoin for a buck to 120 bucks. So certainly it's on the up and up. Um, but will it go much further? We'll see. That depends on how the uh, consumers and how everyone responds to the news that's coming out from Litecoin and their uh, response to Litepay. Again, make sure you're paying attention to the market. Uh, it's a good day to be in the market especially if you bought last week because this week's profits will certainly be good news to you. But remember the lesson through all of that is always reinvest when you see markets hit lows because it's a great time to expand your portfolio and add a lesser coin, a lesser price coin or lesser price coins to your portfolio if you overspent in the past. Don't let a past mistake keep you from making good decisions in the future because all it will leave you doing is having a lot of regret that you didn't jump in when your mind told you you should.